Okay, good morning. This is Monday afternoon, 12 p.m. in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, this is interesting. So this I um, this will one hour find buyers or sellers uh, that hold resistance. I meant uh, will they find sellers to hold this resistance? You know, that was Friday night, a uh, Friday evening. Now uh, it's Monday and. It kind of looks different, so it this can have two different ways. This kind on the four hour, it does look like it is on a bull trend. So this is swing one, came down, tested, came down. This is swing two. It's come down, test, tested the 50 MA. This is the 50 MA. It's still bullish on the one on the four hour so on the four hour let's write it here four hour bullish okay what's the daily say daily it made a double bottom went up came down nothing much really but it still looks like a bullish Feels like a bullish on the daily as well. I think it's gonna go up, man. Let's pull this across here and take this out. Okay, so it broke. Came down to retest, it's going up. This met some resistance at the 20 MA and looks like the last four hours has been going up. Let's look at the one hour though. On the one hour, it is so it was an uptrend till there. This is the low. See on the four hour, this is the low. This is the high. So the price coming back and pulling back to this region. Did not break the low, okay? Even if you considered this point or price to be low, uh, price went down and it closed back up. So it technically did not break it. You don't, even the uh, moving averages of the 20 and the 50 haven't crossed over. The only moving average that has kind of crossed over is the 8 MA, okay? Now, that's so why I would still say the four hour is bullish. On the one hour though, if this is the higher low and this is the higher high, price came down, broke the higher low, stayed down and created a lower high. And uh, that's why you see a crossover of the 20. I like to use the 20 and 50. Yes, the 8MA also crossed over. And then at this point, the 8 cross the 20. It's not the greatest confirmation, but look at what's happening now. So there was, uh, what is this today's? So yeah, so we closed around here last week on Friday, right? Uh, and it looked kind of like it wanted to do a bearish move. But today, look at what's, what has been happening. It's just slowly going up climbing up what i think would next happen is it would break retest oops and continue going up it looks like hmm it actually looks like uh, the one it could be Let's say so the four hour is bullish. One hour will buyers break resistance and retest. Or will sellers hold, hold the level? It looks like bull 
structure me form on the one hour okay now let's look at the 30 minutes 30 minutes the same it dropped down okay let me it dropped down uh, broke structure it's going up so this is the low went up to make a high came down higher high came down so this would be the low or well, even if you take this as the low high it's now slowly going into a bull you see a 20 crossing over the 50 let's go m30 shows a So M30 shows bullish structure formation. Mm, let's put it here. Um, interesting, right? It shows a bullish structure formation on the M30. So we are going to wait and see how it's going to react. So there is some sort of it is reducing it's slowing down in its momentum but you can see it's slowly going higher and higher the ATMA has crossed um, the 20 for the second time I think this looks more bullish now a structure is definitely reforming this is interesting to note actually you know the first time it crosses over it returns it crosses and then there's a second time it crosses again because it moved sideways for a bit and cross over along with the 20 crossing over the 50 now on the 15 minute again the 20 has crossed over the 50 it looks like a bullish this definitely looks like it's going up man it's going up so we have to wait see the momentum is slowing down so it's uh, it looks bullish momentum is slowing down so it's either it's it can make a big move in a bit like either up or down right so we're gonna wait and see what GJ is gonna do now let's go to NJ. What does NJ say? So I had put the, uh, NJ has been. Let's see what did it close uh, with on the last uh, on the eleventh. Yeah, last week it closed here with rejections to this level, rejections for the last four hour. Even now, it has been rejecting. I, uh, it looks like a bear structure is slowly forming you can see the crossover of the this is not so important for me but now when there's a crossover of the 8 and the 50 now that looks interesting because it is in line with the rejections that's happening what does RSI tell us uh, not much except that this was like a divergence here you see this RSI is dropping but price was showing going up so it was dropping and this was a very strong resistance area it dropped and it's coming down to retest this region so this is one this could be one leg one two Think we could have a nice beautiful sell in this region in a while Mm -hmm. um, let's look at the one hour one hour broke down it's rejecting 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 I like this rejection crossed over so the four hour four hour uh, hasn't crossed over one hour has crossed over the 20 over the 50 mm, it does look like a bad trend Four hour sellers holding the resistance, but 
MAs have been crossed over one hour. MA cross over and bearish structure forming. So this is the low, this is the pullback. Let's see what does the, let me close this thing. What does the 30 minutes say? There's a crossover. It came back up, moving sideways for a while in this place. And I like how it's kind of making, you see this? Lower highs over here. Nice, beautiful rejections and lower highs. This looks beautiful, actually. I like this. We could take a sell over here. Let's look at... Uh, so broke structure this is number two like one two let's look at 15 minute what does a 15 say wow oh, what a mess so it came back it was moving sideways and it's slowly moving down if you see look at this slowly respecting this sort of a trend line it's moving down i like this engulfing candle what if we took a trade here you know and put our stops like seven pips above around here to about here 20 pips Mm, there could be a chance it can stop start finding some resistance or support here rejection in this region and if it does go it will go all the way till here it can go to here for sure 1.94 let me look at the five minute what does the five minute say i like how it is hmm Kind of forming like a look at that. We'll break out of this box and drop. It looks more, it actually does look. Uh, I like the rejection. Primarily, I like okay to make a case for my. <clears throat> for my trade i like these rejections even today there's a beautiful rejection how long for this another 43 minutes for this to end this candle it looks like a beautiful rejection of the 20 ma i like how the 8 ma is slowly crossing over mm, and then on the 15 minute i do like how it's making lower highs Okay, and I do like this engulfing. Maybe I can take a trade here. Let me pause for a bit. Okay, so I kind of saw the kind of like what I'm seeing. Okay. That's why I didn't see it properly. Okay, I kind of like what I'm seeing on the 15. Uh, I like how it's rejecting and staying uh, in this descending trend line on the 15. But at the same time, because it's Monday and it is an Asian session, it is still a risky trade. But I am, I've taken maybe, this is the position size. I'm risking 0.73% with a 10 pip stop loss over here it's kind of tight in this region i am hoping it goes down during london you know uh, i like the fact that it is rejecting uh, this uh, 50 ma as a dynamic um, resistance area 
and I'm hoping it's gonna drop man let's look at the four hour how it's faring hmm I'll remove this so if it goes according to plan it's a risk reward to reward ratio 2 which is good risking 10 pips for potential 20 Mm, another 20 minutes for this candle to get over and uh, it looks like an indecision candle like it came up all the way here and let's look at the Fibonacci though from from that swing to down it's at a I would say this is a 32 38.2 which is which is good you know it's at a 38.2 rejecting 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 which is a good thing actually so it it is making my case for a trade for the fact that it broke this level of support and now that level of support has become a resistance level i see rejections from last week even today it's rejected this whole candle rejected uh this and it's the 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 most recent four hour candle which will get over in 19 minutes is also showing rejection uh let me remove this it's at it's at a 38.2 prz level it's an area of resistance which was previously support um there is a crossover of the 20 and 50 you know uh on the On the one hour, I like how it is staying in line with the 20 MA. Okay, let's go to the 50. And on the 50, um, on the 15, you will see how it is making lower highs. It's kind of like a wedge or whatever you call that. And it's respecting, if you look closer, it's respecting the dynamic resistance. 50 MA and it has so far respected the 20 MA as well hoping it closes below uh, the 20 MA uh, that would be perfect uh, let's see how this trade runs so that is for the NZD JPY it's predominantly um, bearish is what I'm looking at let's look at AUD CAD so this is tricky, 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 trick or treat. I think you have to allow this kind of to make a decision on uh, either it's going to break, retest, and go up. So when was the last time it came in this region, man? Ah. Wow. 2019 May. That's a powerful, powerful. It hasn't come to these levels since 2019. So it's interesting what it wants to do. I'm going to give it some more time. Let's see what it does. Um, it's just, right now it's just ranging. It's moving sideways, is what, is what it's doing. So let's just give it time to do what it wants to do, man. Maybe it wants to break retest go up or it's going to drop from this region come down here and then go back up here who knows for now oh this looks like a divergence huh eh, mm. Mm. let's just see what it does look at that momentum is slowing down I am expecting some nice big moves, man. Either to the upside or the downside. Maybe it will move in the London session. So AUDCAD, I have no idea what the heck it wants to do. Right now, I'm just hoping NJ is going to behave itself. NJ is going to behave itself. And uh, dude, I want you to close below the 20 MA. You understand? That's it. So that NZD JPY, now that I look at it, it looks a little different. Look at this now, okay? You're going to see it. Let's remove this. 
if this was the bottom and this was like the level held the level held the level went up okay broke the level so this is bull right and then it did a little pullback back to this level it broke pull back to the level it could very well be going up man it's still in a bull trend yeah it looks like it's still in a bull trend if you look at this at this region it's almost deep rsi which shows it's like a buy signal you know it is sold quite undersold oversold position this looks like a buy signal now and it's in line with the four hours my trade is I extended it it was earlier around here it should have hit the TP by uh, the SL by now I took it up another few pips to be above the um, 50 MA this is going to be tricky so there was a crossover I got too involved with this I didn't look at it as one whole yeah it formed a sort of strong resistance level here but this is still one zone on top this could be like a zone that it's going to go up and down you know uh, on the 30 minute hmm that was a strong bull candle I'm glad it did not break or did not close it didn't show any divergence either which is kind of worrying I would like to see some sort of divergence yeah 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 Yeah, so the ba basic trade understanding would be came till there, right? Till here. It has retested this region. So the entry shouldn't be around here. Allow it to come back, retest, go into the zone, and the entry should be from this zone actually, not from this region. So that is something to learn and especially during the Asian market that's something you wanna I'm gonna edit this can see the red starting to cross over again starting to I increase it to about 14 pips which would give me about 1.4 risk to reward again so the risk has gone up slightly uh, but man this how did I miss this though how did I miss this Here's one level. Uh, I missed it because it formed a level within this move itself. It started respecting a level in here, like a mini level. Rejection, rejection, rejection. Maybe it'll come down. Who knows? But 
I'm not liking it. It's not like mm, the best. Something to learn is look at the RSI. It looks uh, it's at the 25, it, all 26, almost at the oversold region. That is for this the price at this level, oversold. Mm. Very interesting indeed. We'll see what happens next. So currently I am in drawdown. Hiya. Shit. If I do lose, it's about 1%, man. 1% is what I'm going to lose. 14 pips. 1%. 1.25. Oh, 1.1%, 1.2%, 1.3%, 1.4%, 1.5%, 1.6%, 1.7%, 1.8%, 1.9%, 1.10%, 1.11%, 1.12%, 1.13%, 1.14%, 1.15%, 1.16%,
of the 15. It's gone up, broke through the structure finally. Uh, I expect it to retest this region and keep going up, okay? So uh, it's a note to self that if it keeps going sideways, also if you notice it's, uh, yeah, so if it keeps going sideways after, I mean, for like hours and hours, we entered somewhere. When did we enter? It's about, let's say, um, seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve around yeah around this region so one two three four four hours of just going doing nothing actually not significantly moving uh it's time to just exit at break even at least you know exit at break even that would have been I should the moment it moved in profit I should have just brought it to break even it's okay if it hits break even and takes me out of the out of the trade at least my capital is preserved even if it dropped all the way down here it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if I had been taken out at break even my capital is preserved um, and these things happen. The reason being, this is one of those few trades, the first time I think I'm seeing something like this. Technically, this is one range, trading range. It's supposed to go all the way up and come down and range between this support and resistance. What it did though is find a, a, a level midway to bounce off break bounce off and now slowly breaking it again you know so this is what i was confused about uh it happens this kind of losses happen it's okay right it's okay i'm looking for a buy if it provides a signal i'm going to take it from here till about here that's that. If you look at GJ, we are in a bullish trend. This is that midpoint where it's found a sort of resistance. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna take any trade of this. However, if it does give me a signal, break, retest, I may take one to go up all the way there. Mm, will buyers hold? Who will sellers hold? Mm, let's look at the one hour. I'm going to take this out. Mm, just put like a yeah. This is better. Uh, it's not a trade I want to take. Uh, let's look at um, if what is a 15 minute say? Hold on. E, so this is interesting for the fact that it's given a double top. With a divergence, let's look at the TDI. What does the TDI say? Yeah. Divergence. Boom. And then it's come here. Broke out of this. Mm interesting it is interesting this could potentially drop let's see uh, AUDCAD
hasn't really done much. Looks like it wants to break and retest. Let it do what it's supposed to do. Let's look at GBPCHF. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should be the neckline, left and right shoulder. I would like to see a retrace maybe to let's see so this is a right shoulder let's look at the where it can come somewhere here then we can trade but as of now i don't think so bro Hmm, it's an area of, this is interesting, it is an area of uh, support and resistance. Okay. This as well is a strong area. Interesting. I would like to see what it wants to do. Then let's look at GBP USD. Oh. Hmm. So actually, there's nothing much for me to trade kind of did a double top in this region uh, I would take uh, this as one region On range, here to here, 100 pips. Um, yeah. It is going up. I would like to see a break and retest. Or let it come down here and give me a sign that it wants to keep going up. Hmm, nothing else actually. What's Euro USD doing? She's just chilling here. Doing nothing. <laughs> it did come out. Let it go out of the box and instantly came back in. Hmm. It'll be interesting to see if it breaks this level, retest, and we can drop it. Or break, retest, go up. Hmm, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This is good.
I'll wait to see if it retests and gives me a good signal to take one up. That's it.